Stop nagging me! You should look at yourself! Everyone, quiet down! What is happening? Oh, my body! No! Among all the zodiac signs, each has its unique beauty. But one sign stands distinctively different. That is Gemini. Despite being twins, the two sisters are nothing alike. From their appearance to their personalities. Melody likes to play the flute, while Harmony prefers the trumpet. The two sisters are like water and fire, unable to harmonize. Harmony, hurry up! We need to bring this star back to light up the Milky Way! <gasps> Take it easy, Melody. <laughs> you are so irresponsible! You dare yell at me? Ugh. <gasps> a star fell to Earth, causing damage to a region. The Earth God sent his anger up to the Milky Way. Summon Gemini for me. Yes, sir. Melody and Harmony were unaware of the disaster they had caused. Ah! What is happening? Why are our bodies stuck together? This is your punishment for your discord. The curse will be lifted when you find common good. This body is so uncomfortable. Find a way to separate us now! Let's try using magic! <gasps> Burn! Burn! <gasps> it's useless! I won't accept this! Hmm. <laughs> the Milky Way will soon host a talent contest. The winner will be granted a wish. <laughs> we must win! Let's give up our bad habits and become perfect versions of ourselves! Hmm. It's easier said than done. Harmony often sleepwalks at midnight. <gasps> Wake up! Melody often eats carelessly. <gasps> oh my, such a klutz! Hmm. The situation became increasingly tense, so the sisters huh? made a pact of tolerance and signed hmm. it together. The next day, Melody and Harmony began to give way to each other during practice. That's Adrian, Virgo, who Melody secretly likes. Ah! Are you okay? Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> Drop that weakness! Helping him will reduce our chances of winning! The heaviest competitor in the contest was Leo, Regal. He was rather cold and full of schemes. <laughs> hmm. That body suits you well, Melody! Harmony! <laughs> Don't even bother participating, or you'll be embarrassed! <laughs> you! <laughs> Goodbye, losers! <laughs> Melody! Let me take you home! Hmm. Melody's hmm. leg was injured, making it impossible to walk, forcing Harmony <laughs> to also remain still. Let me get some medicine for you. <laughs> so gentle today. Just like that, Harmony Ooh. took great care of Melody, and her leg recovered quickly. The sisters began to understand each other more, with no <laughs> more quarreling. During their final practice before the contest, Melody and Harmony coordinated unexpectedly well. <laughs> the day of the contest arrived. Sagittarius Lady performed skillfully in archery.
The Gemini sign was graceful and elegant in the fish dance. <laughs> then came the Gemini sisters' turn. Here comes the disaster act. Surprisingly, the music they performed was more wonderful than expected. <gasps> the sounds of the flute and trumpet beautifully blended together. This was no longer a contest, but a professional art performance. Hmm. But Regal wasn't going to let the victory slip away. Suddenly, the flute sound <gasps> disappeared. <gasps> Harmony quickly came to her sister's rescue. Regal continued his tricks, but was immediately spotted by Harmony. Regal is playing dirty! Harmony, you're still as hot-tempered. No wonder you always fall behind Melody. Don't think your words can divide us, sisters! Failing his plan, Regal showed his true form. <laughs> Regal attacked <gasps> Melody and Harmony, but they skillfully dodged his blows. <gasps> the sisters jointly defeated Regal in an instant. Well done! <laughs> Congratulations, you have passed the test. I had asked Regal to play the villain all this time. It helped you understand each other better. Thanks to your strength, everything was resolved. To be more loved, I have to learn gentleness from you. From now on, let's improve together. As they spoke, a glow emanated. A melody and harmony truly broke the curse. We did it! I got used to being stuck with you, Melody. <laughs> huh? Oh, Adrian, Melody likes you, but she won't say mm. it. Hey, sis. I... I like you too, Melody. Mm. Thus, Harmony's straightforward Ooh. and sometimes impulsive nature once again <gasps> became the connecting thread for Melody and Adrian's feelings. They would be happy together <laughs> Forever after. Christmas Eve is a time when family members are sank in the warm moments of reunion. But that quiet scene was completely contrast to what was happening in the room in the tower in the middle of the deep forest. That lonely boy is Samuel, the prince of this kingdom. This tower was his secret base, mm -hmm. where he practiced powers mm -hmm. that no one could afford, giving life to his toys. The rumor said mm -hmm. that his power was inherited from his mother. The queen passed away shortly after giving birth. Who should I choose as the commander of the royal hunting army? Mm. Mm. From a young age, with this weak body, I have always been underestimated from other princes. A powerful army that hunts many beasts is the only chance to prove to my father that I, too, can be a successor, not inferior to anyone. A sudden gust of wind blew over, startled the prince. The amount of magic for the leaded lady soldier was filled more than expected. So the lady-led soldier opened her eyes. The movement was extremely loud and noisy. <laughs> oh, look! Look at this, sir! I can move now! You're so noisy! Let me introduce myself. I, Veronica, since I'm on your team, we're gonna win, because I'm super good, of course! <sighs> what happened to your face? You don't trust me, do you? Then you must hear my glorious feet! Let soldier of the time keep her faith always shine through hundreds of kingdoms conquer peak of all the pines Exasperated by Veronica's annoyance the prince picked her out of his army immediately Next the mouse king was born 
Unfortunately, the scepter of the mouse is capable of copying the magic. The mouse king absorbed all the magic Prince Samuel had, and he had no power. <laughs> Thank you for giving me your magic. I will use it very usefully. Magic? My magic? What have you done? <laughs> hmm. Is my scepter interesting? Maybe you don't know. It's capable of absorbing all sorts of magic and spells from the one who used to own it. How dare you! I was so careless that I didn't notice this. Why wouldn't I? It can do more than that. So, for example, what about this kingdom? <clears throat> Turning toys into human beings and human beings into toys. Follow the words yeah. with the magic he just robbed. The Mouse King made all the other toys to grow up before bringing the army back to the royal palace to carry out the evil plan. The Mouse King held the prince captive and the henchmen watched him carefully. Stay here obediently. I'll come back to you after having threatened your own father. Well, I look forward to the reunion with my childhood friend who threw me out without pity. When the rebels left, the lady-led soldier escaped from the hiding place. The magic of the Mouse King also affected her, making her grew up to the size of a normal person. Veronica handled the Mouse King's army effortlessly. When she was about to leave, Prince Samuel raised his voice. Hey, lead soldier. Well, I meant... Veronica? Hmm. My honor for being remembered by Prince Samuel. Oh, well, you're right. You're good at fighting. Can you open this cage? Oh, wow. Do you also need the help of the person who you dispossessed without pity? <sighs> it's my fault. I think that a true lead soldier will always help people in distress, trouble, uh, well, not accept old enemies, right? Heard that. Veronica decided to free the prince from the cage. Being afraid of danger on the way back to the palace, Samuel asked the lady-led soldier to escort him. Of course not! I don't care about those confusing theories. I don't care about your things. Toys are fine. Humans are fine. I just want to be free to go to Dreamland. I heard it's the origin of the lead soldiers. I'll meet my men. Dreamland? It's a magical land that's really hard to reach. Only my father had the map to get there. As long as you take me back to the palace to stop the Mouse King, no matter what, I'll give you the map. The lady then mm. agreed and left with the Prince Samuel. However, the lady soldier is naughty, optimistic, loudsy person and love blabbering about everything. And the prince, who used to be arrogant, impersonal person, just like quiet at the moment. Uh, keep silent. Along the way, there were constant conflicts between them. <gasps> Due to carelessness, Veronica caught herself in a trap on the road set by the hunters to trap the animals. The prince, despite the danger, did not leave and stayed to save her. Therefore, the sympathy gradually raised increased in Veronica's heart. The palace was occupied by Mouse King. From the door following inside, all the soldiers were replaced with the toy ones. With Veronica's help, the prince could slip into the palace. Here, the king was forced to fall to his knees, and the Mouse King questioned him about his abandonment. Oh, my old friend. I never expected to see you on your knees like this one day. <laughs> How are you after all you've done to me? Isn't it too much for you? The Mouse King, don't do this. We had a really good time, you know. Good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be your favorite toy. We eat together, sleep together, and always be together to wherever you like. Until one day, you grew up! You had to worry about things, and that things never included me! I'm just the kind of toy to be thrown out in the warehouse corner. Now it's time for you to pay for everything you've done. 
Suddenly, Samuel and Veronica splitted. The prince had the mission of distraction. The Mouse King was angry as the prince had escaped. The lady soldier was extremely <gasps> agile and rushed to get the magic scepter. I wondered how the prince got here. Turns out it's all thanks to brave lady lead soldiers. Stop messing around. Give me back my scepter. Stop teasing me. <gasps> Have you forgotten how badly he treated you? Human, they're all the same. They only love the toy for a short time. Then, when the novelty passes, all the toys are thrown away without pity. I was a victim, too. Treated like that by the king. Hmm. As between me and the prince who has a deal to go with Dreamland, I will never destroy the deal. <laughs> Dreamland? That land does not exist. The prince is fooling you to take advantage of your foolishness. Come on, you'd better give it back to me. We're all toys, you remember? Everything I do is to get justice for us. Facing Veronica's commotion, a flock of rats took advantage of the opportunity, rushing to attack her. Despite of fiercely resisting, the candy cane of the lead soldier broke in half. The biggest rat to reach the scepter threw it to the mouse game. Grabbing the scepter, the mouse king shoots a magic towards the prince, but Veronica promptly rushed out to help. The previous magic applied on her was gradually revoked. No! Veronica! Hold on! I'll find a way to destroy him. And where you want to go, I'll take you. I don't have to contend with power anymore. Come on, Veronica. I don't blame you, Prince Samwell. You must become a good king. I've been so happy. <laughs> one day, that one day you're not busy, you can explore new lands on my behalf. Don't let yourself be bound by power and pressure. Nobody can help our sweet little prince this time, can they? The Mouse King continues to turn magic into the end of Samuel's human life. However, our prince quickly avoided it. Things kept happening like that until he's cornered. Goodbye, my little prince. Thank you for making my ambitions come true. The prince pulled down the cloth. <laughs> Behind him was the mirror that reflects the magic back to the enemy. <laughs> no! The king stopped Prince Samuel from smashing the Mouse King state, preventing the future harm. He then took the Mouse King statue placed him in the most dignified position. Hmm. Father, it's my fault. Samuel, remember, people can grow up, no longer love old things, but will still cherish good memories. The prince used all the magic he got back from the scepter to brought the lady-led soldier back, but it didn't work. Any toy that has become human once came back to its original form, can no longer become human again, no matter what. It's my fault. It's all mine. Because she saved me, she was in trouble. I didn't even have time to tell her all my heart. Hmm. Maybe this will help you. <laughs> Follow the instruction on the map to where your mother was born. I heard it's a magical <laughs> land. Dreamland? Is this land real? Hmm. The prince was no more concerned about the throne. He carried the lead female soldier following the instruction on the map. Overcoming difficulties, <laughs> getting lost, they finally succeeding to bring Veronica back to life. <laughs> They traveled the world together, discovered, fulfilled the dreams that the lady soldiers had previously wished. Ugh, it's noisy again. What did you say? What? It was fun. <laughs> those little spirits touching the hand of that beautiful girl so brilliant? Does she have any magical powers? Let's find out with fairy tales now.
Once upon a time, in the village, there was a very beautiful lady named Lena. Although Lena is the only daughter of the village chief, she's not only unarrogant, but also extremely honest, always enthusiastic to help people around. Therefore, she is always loved by everyone. Lately, for no reason, her small village has suffered a long drought. The land is dry, so food is increasingly scarce. Mm hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Even though it was customary for her father to go to the temple to ask the goddess to bless the people, this time there was no change at all. Lena was restless and decided to join her father in praying again. <laughs> However, when the two just walked in front of the temple gate, suddenly, black clouds came, covering the sky. Not only that, when her father had just set foot in the palace, suddenly, a lightning struck the sky, carrying the bright light and turning her father into a stone statue. Oh no, Dad! Why did this happen? Lena had just finished speaking. Hestia, the goddess of the temple, appeared to her in a proud, serious manner. Huh? Don't cry and beg for anything else. It was your father who had committed great contempt for the gods, so you all have to suffer the whole things. Many days ago, when your father came to the temple, he knocked down the spiritual fire that cultivated long ago way too unreservedly. Not only that, he dared to put out my flame with his sword. This is unacceptable, and he has to pay for what he's done. Goddess, please forgive my father and people. My father must have just inadvertently caused it without even knowing its importance. <laughs> so, please show mercy to my father and the villagers so that they can overcome this long tribulation. They've worked so hard in the sun, used up all their food reserves and had to travel to many places. Therefore, I also willingly give everything to save him and everyone. Seeing Lena's prayerful sincerity, Hestia's angry face gradually changed. All right, I'll make a deal with you as a way for you to make atonement for that clumsy father and save everyone. <laughs> you help me gather the spirits of water, fire, and light, the elements of the fairy forest, so that I may have more magic to cultivate my powers. When you finish the quest, I will spare your father as well as the others. Lina thanked Hestia and went home. She picked up her belongings and took her beloved father's sword and set out. Throughout the difficult road, Lena finally found the gate to the fairy forest. <gasps> However, the god guarding the gate was determined not to let her through. Please let me get into the forest. I need to find the elemental spirits to help the Hestia goddess restore magic, as well as save the lives of my people and my father. Well, an ordinary person like you can't set foot in this land. Leave! Then the god summoned the sword in his hand and threatened Lena. <gasps> I'm sorry, sir, but my people and my father are in danger, so I have to be rude to you. <laughs> so, Lena tried to pull out her father's sword and come up against the attack of the god. Only after seeing Lena's sword, the god was surprised and stopped fighting with her. How do you get the sword? This is the gift I gave to a brave man of great heart who helped the people of this forest. <laughs> It was my father, but my father was turned into stone after committing unknowingly a sin against the goddess Hestia. I beg you to help me find the three spirits in the fairy forest. Turns out, you're his descendant. That explained why you are strong, and you can use this divine sword. Hmm. Alright, I'll let you in. But you should remember that only worthy person of pure purpose and honest heart can gather three spirits and have the ultimate source of magic to cultivate. Thank you very much. I got it. Seeing Lena's eyes filled with optimistic and hope, the god immediately took her into the forest, where the three spirits were shining brightly. <gasps> Elemental spirits, I am here for no evil purpose but to ask for your help to save the innocent people and my poor father. Therefore, may you understand my plea and join me in returning to the small village. The elemental spirits looked towards the divine sword and gradually understood the deep prayer, <laughs> hurriedly shining brightly on her hand. Lena was very happy, thanked the guardian god, and quickly returned. Hmm. 
When she arrived at the temple, Lina immediately handed over three spirits to the goddess Hestia. <laughs> However, the goddess did not directly touch the power source, but used a divine bag to carry them. Lina felt a little strange when she saw the three spirits gradually change color, but she did not have time to ask anything. Suddenly, there was dark smoke around the temple, and the goddess of fire, mm. Hestia, was in front of her, immediately forming the Demon King. He threw yeah. Lina's father to prevent her from ruining the transformation of the spirits. <laughs> the elemental spirits are finally in my hands. Now, no one can accomplish my plan to take over this land. It turned out that before that, the Demon King had hypnotized Lena's father with his sword to extinguish the goddess's fire that weakened her and then was kept captive. After that, the Demon King also caused people's lives miserable. Knowing that Lena was a talented person with an honest heart, he decided to disguise as the goddess Hestia and asked <laughs> Lena for the three elemental spirits from the fairy forest. After possessing mm. three spirits in his hand, mm. he immediately disables the magic of them with the magic bag and transforms them into dark magic. Seeing the three spirits gradually controlled, <laughs> Lena took the opportunity and tried to retrieve the bag. Lena embraced the three spirits mm. in her arms, but by the moment, they were completely transformed and conquered by the Demon King. Not only that, the Demon King also quickly controlled the elemental spirits to return to him and began to use his power to destroy everyone. <laughs> Seeing what was going on, Lena was terrified and in pain of not being able to save her father and the people. I did my best, but the strength of a man as ordinary as I could not fight against the Demon King. I'm so useless. No, Lena, you fought bravely. I'm sure you won't give up so easily. Dad, is that you? Only in response to Lena, there was only silence from the statue, but she was still trying to motivate herself. You can't answer me right now, I know, but those words have given me the extra motivation to fight and the determination not to let it end like this. Then, Lena struggled drawing her sword and rushed to the demon. During the battle, she tried to resist and dodge the demon's moves and used her agility to cut towards the three spirits. The three spirits gradually restored their power, shifted from the dark color to their inherent quintessential beauty, and helped Lena beat the Demon King. No! The Demon King finally vanished, and the fire goddess Hestia was released from captivity. <laughs> then, the goddess of fire gathered up the three spirits and helped David, Lena's father, become a human again. Lena! On this journey, you've proved to us courageous, indomitable, and sacrificial spirit for others. Therefore, I give you the water spirit and hope you can rule this land with me for the better. <laughs> My pleasure! Lena then happily joined her father in using the water spirit that had just been given to bring water to the people. In the end, Lena and everyone lived together happily, warmly, and richly forever after. In town, there is a custom that no matter how important things are, men don't stay awake after 20 hours. Because after that time, an extremely scary ghost Giselle lady, with long hair, a dark face, and a transparent body suspended in the air, will wander through every nook and cranny in search of men. Ghost Giselle read a poem in a scary Ghost Giselle voice. Oh, spirits who sleep in the bodies, hear my summon. You are all ready. Don't pretend. Stay quiet or flee. Now it's time. Let's groan and flee. This young couple, <laughs> Ethan and Amy, came from another town. Being prohibited by their families, they decided to flee together. So listen to my advice, young couple. The darkness is close. If you want to live, go find a safe place. Mm -hmm. Unexpectedly, the people in this town are that superstitious. You don't believe that either, do you, Amy? <gasps> Amy? Hey, Ethan. Huh? What? You didn't answer all of a sudden. Making me... Mm. <gasps> Ethan! What's wrong? 
with you, Ethan! Answer me! Ethan could not have guessed. That voice was not his lover's. It belonged to a ghost Giselle. Are you a ghost Giselle? You absorbed Ethan's soul? Mm. At this moment, Amy's anxiety, strength and love dissipated her fear. She wept and knelt and begged the ghost Giselle to let go of her boyfriend. I accept any deal for bring Ethan back, even by my soul or body. Well, a amorous girl again. When I was alive, I was so stupid like that. When I was alive, I also had a name. Hmm, what was it again? Ah, Giselle. Because of poverty, I was sold to a noble family to impose our debts. That family is very wicked. <gasps> Often exiling me in lashes. Once, fetching water from the nearby river, I met Liam, a hunter from another town. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry to startle you. We hit the thunder of love, fast to love each other. Liam even said he'd take out everything he had to redeem me. I thought that love was forever. But the nobles were extremely greedy, <laughs> took Liam's huge money, mm. and then dared to double time. <laughs> they want me to marry another old kinship. <gasps> hmm, there was no other way. <laughs> I and Liam decided to meet and run away in the night. I came to the rendezvous point, waited and waited forever. <gasps> But he didn't come. The only thing that welcomes hmm. me is the rich man who brings his legs and make me go home. Stupid girl. Come back to me. The man you've been waiting for won't come. He took my money to show me this place. <gasps> come on, you poor girl. I have found you a good marriage. And when you marry him, you will never worry about food or clothes again. <laughs> With anger and fear, I decided to end my life. Since then, I've turned into a ghost Giselle, pretending to suck men's souls from day to day. Spirits can't escape until there's no such thing as a resentment. The only way I can fall is to take revenge on the man who betrayed me. Then you have to go get revenge on the right people. Why harm innocent people? I'd love to. But it is very mm -hmm. difficult because the ghost Giselle in the Sissipate. Mm. At the same time, the silver trader Liam's town has an anti-spooky world. Without a complete body, I can't go with. <gasps> I can give the soul mm -hmm. back to your lover on one condition. Really? I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, you are a fool that agree immediately when you don't even know the conditions. I won't hurt you. You just need to lend me your body to avenge the treacherous. <gasps> All right, I agree. As long as you don't use my body for other evil purpose. As in hmm. the covenant, the ghost Giselle returned the soul to Ethan and borrowed Amy's body. She brought Ethan to her old boyfriend's village. Along the way, Giselle realized what? Ethan was a nice and warm guy. You've already known the one inside this body is me, but why are you still so considerate? Don't think too much. I just don't want her body to get hurt. Hmm. At night, they met the wolves. Before protecting Giselle, Ethan was seriously injured. The ghostess began to have feelings. She thought it was love and gradually had the thought of making Ethan her own man. What if I kept living in Amy's body? Will you love me too? Forget about it. Love is compensated by memories, not just by the same appearance. They got back to the town and met a night hunter. Then they went on to ask for what had happened. I just got back to town. I don't know. Liam. This name is mm. quite familiar. 
Looks like he's been passed away for a long time. It can't be. I don't believe it. If I can't finish him myself, I'm still a ghostess. How can I leave this world without solving my resentment? I can't accept this. If it's no salvation for me, I'm going to use Amy to get your soul to forever beside me. In front of them was the deep edge that no one can see the bottom. And if Ethan fell down, he would be gone forever. The ghostess Giselle in Amy's body approached the man. Taking advantage of the moment Ethan didn't notice, she intended on pushing him downward. But right at the moment when her hands touched him, Amy's soul inside her body suddenly awakened. No! Ethan, run! The ghostess was more powerful than Amy herself. She continued to storm towards Ethan. Amy did not want herself to take her lover's life, of course. However, if she kept hesitating until the ghostess completely took over her body, she would most likely hurt him. So Amy decided to sacrifice herself and jumped into the abyss. No, Amy, no! Amy, don't believe in men's love, which can disappear in just a blink of an eye. I'm a victim of that vanity of love myself. No, we are not the same. You got hurt by a bad person, but you can't impose that thoughts on any others. I will absolutely not become another you. Get hurt and try to hurt innocent people. The ghost has still controlled Amy's body and tried to pull the man down. Ethan, let it go. Please, let me go. Don't hurt yourself anymore. No, I'd rather die than let you go. Maybe if someone had to go, it would be me. Your love is beautiful. I don't like you as much as I thought. It's just an admiration for the way you love her. The ghost of Giselle also no longer felt the meaning of existence. She decided to leave Amy's body, spared her for the rest of her life. The dawn began to rise. The light shone down. Giselle's soul slowly dissipated. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Ethan. Thanks to both of you, I've learned a lot. The real reason I can't get salvation is because I've taken the souls of so many men and put the girls in an unfortunate situation like me. Even if my vengeance on Liam was successfully, the fact that I am no longer belong to this world, hmm. it is impossible for me to be happy. Meanwhile, if I'd given up and chose to reincarnate, the ghostess Giselle then completely vanished and left behind a necklace with the left half of the heart. Hmm. At this moment, a man from the village appeared. Uh, are you... are you looking for Liam, my brother? So this is Liam's brother. Liam really did not abandon Giselle as the lie from the evil rich man's words. On the way to meet Giselle, he was severely beaten by that rich man. When Liam knew that the bad things was about to come, he ran back to the village and called for help. But in the very end, Liam couldn't take it any longer. It was too painful facing the death of his brother. He did not leave immediately. By the time he remembered his brother's final words, the Lady Giselle was already followed his brother's steps. The brother sadly handed out a special necklace that his brother left behind, which was the right half of the heart, the love token of the Giselle and Liam. The necklace suddenly glowed, which made Liam and Giselle's soul appear choking and embracing each other. I sincerely wish you both happiness and absolute happy to continue to spread fate and true love to this world. At the very end, Giselle and Liam clenched hands together and happily <laughs> live forever. <laughs> Why did the princess touch the hole? That lady suddenly become such a beautiful god. Let's find out.
<laughs> In the realm of the sun goddess, there was a good princess named Sunny, who was the only daughter of the king and the late queen. She always wore the royal necklace, a family heirloom, with the hope that she would become a great queen as she had wished. However, no matter how hard she tried to be strong, her father always thought that she was just a weak girl and left the heavy work for the wizard general. Moreover, the successor of the kingdom was often a wise, consensuous male who could possess the scepter of light, which a part of the power of the sun goddess's heart to maintain the light of the kingdom. So the king thought a lot and went to the temple without letting Sunny go. I understand my father is worried about me and my people, so he cannot assume the responsibility of carrying this kingdom to me. And if I let the wizard general in charge, he must be the guy who my father trusted a lot, and I will try to support him. While Sunny was thinking, she suddenly heard a loud noise coming from the temple. And the sky suddenly darkened for no reason. When she arrived, she saw her father and the wizard general, who was asleep. And the goddess got angry and left. What happened to my father and the sun goddess? Because the king wanted you to be his successor. So the sun goddess didn't agree and got angry like that. The king always silently observed your efforts and decided to propose you to be the one who ruled the scepter of light in order to maintain the prosperity of the kingdom. However, the sun goddess was very angry because she thought that you was a girl, not in accordance with the old custom. So the goddess punished your father, destroyed the scepter of light, and took away the light of our kingdom. If you want to save the king and kingdom, you must find the sun goddess at the top of the perilous mountain and bring back the scepter of light. As it turns out, my father always been quietly sacrificed for me, so I'm going to go see the goddess and prove my true strength, and I'm determined not to let you regret this decision. After saying that, Sunny <gasps> decided to go on the road, <laughs> trying to overcome all the obstacles to reach the top of the mountain, the place where the sun goddess was supposed to reside. While climbing the mountain, she saw a fox fainted on the road from starvation due to the scarcity of food from the disappearance of the sun. Seeing the poor fox, Sunny rushed to get some of her food to help him stay awake. Appreciating Sunny's kindness, the fox immediately brought her to the front of the huge gate, the residence of the sun goddess. You must be here to see the sun goddess. However, if you want to meet the goddess, you must answer my wise question first. Yes, please, ask the question. You're a brave little girl. So answer me. All things on Earth are like animals. People always try to avoid conflict and fight to maintain a peaceful life. However, what alive will beat, what doesn't beat will die. Sunny hmm? thought for a while, but could hmm. not think of an answer. And unconsciously, she touched her heirloom <gasps> softly. <laughs> that's right. The answer is the heart. Because that's the source of life for every species. If it doesn't beat every second, it can't survive. That's exactly right. <laughs> word, the gate showed the way for Sunny, but when Sunny had just set foot hmm. inside, she was suddenly attacked by the sun goddess in anger. Without saying an explanation, Sunny tried her best to evade the goddess's magic, but is still defeated. While Sunny was cornered, she saw the goddess holding her chest, which seemed very painful. As it turned out, she realized that the goddess had lost a part of her heart. So she tried to run so fast that she put her necklace in the void on the goddess's chest and held her in her lap. Feeling Sunny's heart through hugs and gifts, the goddess gradually calmed down and returned to the beauty form as before. Thank you, Princess Sunny. You helped me recover my strength with love. And in the last journey, I've also known how good and strong you are. Will you then not be angry with me and help my father recover and bring light to all things in my kingdom? I'm sorry. It's not because of you that I got angry and turned dark like this. However, I want you to learn what the truly good people are and to find out the reason behind this and defeat that evil force to help people. Therefore, even though I am weak now, I will grant you the scepter of light, which will help you to obtain the ultimate magic. Hmm. However, if you use the power of the scepter to save your father's life, you will have no more magic to save the people and vice versa. 
Standing in front of the great and difficult decisions of life, Sunny contemplated and thought, hypnotized along the way back to the kingdom. It's difficult to make the decision to choose either one, as the sun god says, because for me, dad are the only one who has raised me. Therefore, I cannot afford to watch my father weaken and pass away. Only I also understand that when there is a lack of sunlight, all things in the kingdom live in misery. Even their food is increasingly scarce and robbed by soldiers. <coughs> Seeing the unusual happen in front of her eyes, Sunny hurried back to the palace, but had just arrived at the place where the wizard general blocked the road to arrest and seize the scepter. <laughs> it's worth for me to wait. Just in a short time, you brought back the scepter of light. It turned out that long ago, the king knew that even oh. though the wizard general was an agile guy, but evil-minded person, finally <gasps> sucking up the wealth of the people so the king could not bring him to the throne. So when the king achieved Sunny as his successor, the wizard general was furious mm. and sought to defeat the king to seize the scepter of light, while the sun goddess needed absolute concentration to recharge the scepter light with magical energy and also the weakest defense, the wizard general silently <laughs> intended to take the scepter from the goddess. However, when the wizard general touched the scepter, his evil grim directly affected and infected the evil with weapons, and even the heart of the goddess was darkened. <laughs> Seeing that scene, the king hurriedly stopped the wizard, but during the contraction, the scepter was broken as well, as the king was seriously wounded. Turns out you're the one behind all this? My father and I have trusted you all this time! It's too late now, princess! Now that I have the scepter of light in my hands, you must all submit to my command. <laughs> After that, mm -hmm. he used the scepter to create a lot of sun throughout the kingdom, with the intention of making people work all day long to redeem it. No, I can't make his ambitions come true. I must continue to fight for the people, for my father. Ah. <sighs> Sunny tried to move away from the soldiers. <laughs> the wizard general panicked, using the scepter to stop Sunny. But suddenly, the sun in Sunny's hand shone and dazzled him. Not only that, the magic that he just shot at her was flushed back and caused him to melt into a cloud of smoke. However, the power of the sun was too strong to Sunny, so she was forced to hold the sun in her hands to create pressure, causing them to break. But this was equivalent to, she had to sacrifice her life. Because my father and people, I determined to sacrifice myself to become the light of the sun and to leave the scepter of light to my father so that they may all live together in peace. Finally, Sunny hugged the sun in her heart, shone brightly in front of many people. While everyone was mourning her departure, a light suddenly shone from the ashes, and Sunny appeared as a light bearer. Sunny! Daddy! <laughs> Sunny, I know you're just a little girl, mm. but you've proven in your journey and sacrifice is that you're a person mm. of both mind and vision, and fit for the scepter of light. Mm. Therefore, I hope you will maintain the prosperity of the kingdom on my behalf. Thank you, Dad, and everybody so much. I also understand that whatever our origin or gender is, if we try hmm. hard enough and take action, everyone will understand what our potential is. And then, under Sunny's guidance, the kingdom once again returned to its inherent serenity, and people lived happily ever after. <laughs> It was the best day in the history of the Western Empire when the Prince Daniel they loved was crowned. A coronation present from all flood realms was sent endlessly. Egyptian messenger to present the kingdom. The most lavish and flamboyant was the messenger from Egypt with long lines of precious treasures, especially the most beautiful dancers. The wobble of the dancer made it impossible for someone at the party to resist Ooh. watching. Even Lady huh? Catherine, the Emperor's lover. 
passionately looking into the eyes of the dancer, a strange feeling gradually possessed Catherine's body. Right at that night, she suddenly got serious fever. When she awoke, Catherine found herself lying in an ancient coffin in a strange shrine unlike a palace. Standing next to her was a man in ancient Egyptian clothes. Welcome back, my queen. Where is this? Huh? Who are you? What have you done? Huh? Daniel! Daniel! Where's my sword? What is it? Please, calm down. I'll tell you the whole story. Through the monk's words, Catherine found out that the place where they lived was Egypt 1500 years before her time. 200 years ago, the Miao clan and human lived together, depicting the clan exalted as a god, <laughs> held a dignified and important position. She is the Queen Mint of the Kingdom of Egypt, helping Pharaoh with state affairs. Egypt was once a prosperous power until the Persian Empire invaded. They are supported by the serpent god Apophis to improve the military. <laughs> Meanwhile, taking advantage of the Egyptian cat worship, the Persian devised a plan to draw a cat image on the shield for the vanguard. So the Egyptian archer dared not shoot the arrow. Egypt huh? gradually fell, and the pharaoh was captured. Huh? <laughs> Howdy, our queen Mit. No matter how strong you are, you can't stand against the mighty power of Persia. <laughs> I will spare the lives of the Egyptians, provided by your death. For the sake of the country, the Queen Mit agreed to the cruel conditions. Children of the Nile, I chose to give up my life to save the huh? lives of innocent souls. Don't worry, I'll soon be resurrected 200 years later, under a soul from the future of 1,500 years. Huh? <laughs> Since then, the monks of all generations had left a will to have their children to learn the special spell and wait for 1,500 years later to bring the queen back, exterminate Apophis, and save Egypt. Nonsense! Truly this is the story that the Egyptian envoy made up to attack me and the Empire? Don't even think about it! <laughs> <laughs> It's impossible! Guards, after Queen! Uh. Huh? Catherine wandered almost fell into the hands of the slave traders. <laughs> Under the dominant of Persia, <laughs> they no longer worship mm. cats. Well, look what we've got. Hey, pretty, why are you so hurried? Uh. Huh? Uh. Guards, hurry up and get that little brat. In desperation, mm. Catherine met a boy who resembled her Daniel. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Luckily, Darius redeemed Catherine from the slave merchant. Da huh? Dan Daniel? You got the wrong idea. I'm Darius, Prince of Persia. What I'm going to tell you here may scare you, but it's the truth. Huh? The situation is very bad now. My father listened to Apophis' instigation, constantly offering the living to the serpent goddess. I've cherished a plan to beat her for a long time, but she's too strong. I received a poetic warning about your arrival, Miss Catherine. Or is it Mint, the only one who can put an end to the current dilemma? Identical to what the monk said, what is the truth? No way you're Daniel, right? Told you, I'm not du- uh. <laughs> Apparently not. I saw her heart beating. I am in so much pain. Are you okay? Da Darius? Huh? Fine. I know you don't belong in this world. The only way back is to destroy Apophis. She's only weakened in the eclipse. We have to take advantage of this opportunity. Huh? As soon as the eclipse took place, the Egyptian army assembled by the monk had to take cover to prolong the time preventing the Persian guards outside. The rest followed Catherine and Darius deep into the palace. Having passed through a series of hidden traps, they finally reached the middle of the palace itself, meeting Apophis. Oh, Queen Mit, my old friend from a long time ago. Unannounced visitors don't seem very polite, do they? But still, I should welcome you warmly. Well, I'm so hospitable. Children, you hear me? Huh? Answering from the great pits, the viper snapped their tongue. Huh? 
Under the cooperation of Darius and Meow, the snakes were quickly taken care of. Apophis uses her greatest ability, hypnotizing them. What's wrong with you all? Wake up! Daniel! Daniel! They're all hypnotized! No! She got you too! The other guards couldn't stop Catherine, but she couldn't pass Darius. Soon, Catherine was cornered. Darius! Daniel! It's me! What am I doing? Catherine took advantage of the negligence, plunging towards Apophis. Everyone thought it's time to congratulate each other, but soon after, Apophis came back. That's it? Queen Mitt seems to be getting much weaker. Well, it's a compliment mm. to the prince who broke my hypnosis. Alin ala and tamut. Alin ala and tamut. Come on, pin the knife into the heart of Queen Mitt. To prevent himself from doing that, Darius sacrificed himself so that the viper would bite into his hand. The venom would keep him awake, free from total hypnosis. <laughs> Kath, it's safe now. Apophis's men have only one weakness. Only attacking that weakness can completely eliminate her. No, Darius, no! That pain really <laughs> agitated Catherine. She closed her eyes, transformed her body, brought back Mitt's memory, and suddenly opened the goddess eye. Thanks to that, she could realize a strange signal on Apophis. Catherine recites the curse, around which there are large circles of letters, crashing straight into the weakness. Apophis then gradually vanished. How dare you! Mitt, when you read this curse, your memory will also be completely sealed, never to appear again. You're willing to pay such a high price? Ah! I accept it! As long as Egypt stays peaceful forever! Just like Apophis said, the magic of the goddess, as well as the spirit of the snake, will sleep forever in Egypt from now on. My queen, forgive us! We are late. You... your body... Catherine's body slowly dissipated. Without my presence, you must still try to protect Egypt. Protect the life of the happy and full people. <clears throat> Thousand years curse exists. Burying are all intruders. Tomb raiders will be punished. Peace for Egypt forever. Hmm. Don't worry, we'll see each other soon. Long live the queen! Catherine then woke up, went back to the modern empire, where Daniel was still by her side to take care of her. <laughs> Kath, you're awake! Daniel, I come back! Tight, it's too tight! Huh? I know you're glad to see me, but it's not good to wake up with too much strength. Daniel, do you believe in prehistoric grace? Did your illness affect you this huh? much? <laughs> come on, you're sick. You need more rest. I don't know if there's a prehistory, but if there is, no matter what, we'll be happy together. That's right, no matter which huh? life they lived, they were always happy together. Long Fairy Tales A little thing. Obey my command, show off the beauty of your valor, and join me to tease the poor brother! <laughs> this is the eldest daughter of the most weird Adams witch family in this land, Miss Wednesday. And the man who is masterfully assembling these monstrous magic ingredients is Pugsley the twin brother she has always loved, teasing him with her magic. All right, I give up. Tell him to drop me off to finish the magic of resurrection. The magic of resurrected? Is this? Uh, yes, it will be something that will help us to revive all things and to have more friends in this land by giving souls from this magical flower. Huh? Friends? turned out that long ago, the Adams had always been friends with the people around here. Unfortunately, after they knew the witch's identity of the Adams family, they thought the family was different and bizarre. So people drove them to this hill. However, both still wished to have more friends like them. So Pugsley was determined to work out the magic of resurrection. 
and I will revive this sparrow. Huh? Hey, don't bring these colorful things near me. I'll break out in a rash. Besides, how is it this thing is going to revive all things? Stop dreaming about having friends. <sighs> because no one wants to be friends with witches. But don't you want to have friends like us? I'll prove to you that the magic of this little thing can do it. However, no matter how many times he tried to activate this magic item, huh? the results are not what Pugsley hoped for. Huh? Definitely you just teased me and caused it to hit the ground hard. So it just didn't work. Impossible! There's no way to resurrect things, even if we use magic. So don't read these books or blame me. Otherwise... What if I don't? You're gonna punish me? That's right! Huh? Since Wednesday was an arrogant person, she immediately shot magic to Pugsley. Pugsley was quick to dodge the huh? shot, but that magic accidentally hit a strange huh? object, huh? made it work, and eventually, the sparrow came back to life. Huh? Both were very surprised to know that this item needed a strong enough amount of lightning to work. Then, Pugsley quickly returned home to show off his accomplishments to his parents. However, they both did not know that there was an eye that had always observed them in the background and plotted a plan in imminent peril. When the Tusers were eager to bring back the item, suddenly, a pack of wolves appeared and attacked them. Wednesday was quick, using a wand to control them. But Pugsley was separated by a wolf. Not only that, while Pugsley tried to resist, he accidentally slipped his hand and caused the precious item to almost fall to the edge. When Pugsley was hanging by a thread, a shadow slid over and supported the wolf's claws for him. Get lost! Pugsley! Are you alright? I'm okay. Thanks to this guy, I was saved. Thank you, but you're a vampire, aren't you? But if you're a vampire, you usually have to live in dangerous high mountains, not live near people like that. Well, I am Vance, a vampire living in the west of this territory. I haven't had enough food to spare these days for the winter, so I was looking for food around here and accidentally saw the two in distress. Huh? So I quickly helped you guys and was injured like this. Seeing Vance hurt, Pugsley took Vance to Adam's home <laughs> in haste, but Wednesday was still skeptical about this guy. When they just arrived home, Pugsley continuously talked about the item and the new friend to their parents. Their parents greatly appreciated Vans and agreed to let Vans live in the castle during the conveyance period. After that, they found out the broken item. However, Wednesdays was not only feeling the look of disappointment and sadness from Pugsley, but also Vans. Not only that, Vans also actively offered to help Pugsley remake this item, making the little witch really curious for the purpose of this new enthusiastic friend. That is deliberately taking Pugsley's heart and making him just completely pay attention to completing the revival magic and ignore me. I need to talk to Pugsley in case Vance does. However, no matter how Wednesday advised Pugsley about the anomaly of Vance, Pugsley left this out. I understand you appreciate Vance and consider him a friend, hmm. but I have a hunch that huh? Vance is not as good as he seems. Wednesday, sometimes we can't judge things by hunches. You also see Vance's actions and feelings for us. One more thing that, finally, we have a good friend. So please, don't doubt Vance. Then, Pugsley kept going into the room to finish the job. Maybe Pugsley's right. We always wanted to have good friends, but now when we had, I was suspicious and overly subjective about the person. While Wednesday was indifferent to Pugsley's words, she suddenly heard the noise inside the room. When Wednesday came in, she saw that her parents and Pugsley were allergic to the magic cake that Vance had made. But she did not understand what was happening. <laughs> Vance immediately controlled her with colorful glasses, which she feared the most in the words of Pugsley. <laughs> oh, the atoms have finally been knocked out of my hands. <laughs> As it turns out, Vance was an evil vampire, once heard of the Adams family from their freaks in the land. So we had been exploring the family for a long time. <laughs> Particularly as he witnessed the magic resurrection. Vance decided to approach Pugsley to repair it. <laughs> and then seize the item to revive his vampire henchman to take over the land. Hmm. Thank you for this gift, Pugsley. I will use it to revive more friends for you. <laughs> After that, Vance happily left with his item. Meanwhile, Wednesday, who didn't have one in her hand, as well as started to spread all over her body, made her family extremely afraid. <gasps> huh? Sorry, Wednesday. 
who stubbornly disobeyed me and made this mistake. Suddenly, Pugsley was belching because of eating too much food. The dark smoke was almost full of the room, but this helped Wednesday come up with a way to free it all. <laughs> Pugsley, keep on belching! It will cause that colored glass to be covered in black and help me restore my strength! Pugsley agreed to do, and soon, the room was filled with black smoke. Finally, Wednesday recovered her strength, regained her wand, and unleashed magic on everyone. After that, Wednesday decided to go with Pugsley and find Vans to stop his evil plan. They followed the light of the down to the village and found out Vans had used the item to revive the henchmen and started to attack the villagers. Wednesday immediately used the wand to control the vampires, but they were not only strong, but also flying very fast, making her unaware. Even though, Wednesday's wand was broken by a vampire. We can't keep fighting these vampires, they are too many! Yes, we can't have enough time to save the whole people, so we need to find another way. When they were talking, a bolt of lightning hit the big trees nearby and created a fire, causing the vampires to panic away. That's right, Pugsley! These vampires are scared! Fire! fire. However, my wand was broken so it couldn't make a big fire. Then use this. But this is your achievement if we burn it! This is the item that Vans and I made, but it ended up being something which was harmful to our family and people. So I'm willing to pay this price to make up for my sins. Sorry, Pugsley. I can't give you a good friend, but despite not having friends, I hope we stay together and help each other as we huh? do now. Then, with Wednesday's magic ingredients and spells, the frightening fire of magic rushed in the witness of people. Surrounded on four sides by great fire, the vampires panicked and were gradually defeated. Moreover, Vans was almost devoured by the fire when he injured his wings, so he decided to turn into a bat and fled. Eventually, Vans' entire henchmen were destroyed. Finally, the light was brought back to the people. We, we did, did it! it! Are you a witch of the atoms? Huh? They both wanted to hide their identity from the people, but it was impossible. No wonder we've seen you guys so familiar! Moreover, look how the fire that you two caused defected on everything around here. We... But it was thanks to your fire that we could escape the vampires. So, we thank you very much for saving us, although we chased your families away from the old day. So, we also want to try to be friends with good witches like you. Thank you very much! Witnessing the help of their sisters to the people, they decide to make a party to welcome the Adams back into the village. Then, the journey and challenge with the new friends of the Adams sisters continued. <laughs>